Hello everybody. <clears throat> so, don't mind my hair. It is a mess. Um, like literally. I don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff anymore. I'm seriously thinking about getting it cut. Um, I said also thought about doing dreads, but I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. So, until then, it's just going to be a hot mess because it's either my face or my hair I can never seem to do both um this is that wet and wild black polish that was in a previous um video that I got for a buck fifty so not bad and I actually put um the such a Vite dry fast top coat over it. this is my favorite um top coat when you have natural nails it really works well you can use super cheap nail polish use this over it and it's going to look like a million bucks so yeah that nail polish top coat it's important the polish itself is really not that important if you got a good top coat and I don't prime my nails <clears throat> but on that note first off let me get some lip gloss on my lips because it has wore off this is not what I was wearing earlier. I was actually wearing a big, bad, bright, uh, liquid matte lip color from Unique and Smashing. I was feeling all fall and, uh, it's like an orange red, really pretty, but it is so bold. This is actually a first impression of this color. I haven't wore this yet. I've tried it on, but I haven't actually wore it. But I'm loving the NYX Butter Glosses. The only thing is, they look super shiny and pretty, and the colors are beautiful. This one is actually in the color Peaches and Cream. Um, they don't stay on long, though. They will rub off fast. Um, they're in like four bucks and some change. And... I always try to get my makeup on sale. I'm always um like using coupons and discount cards and things like that because I just believe that my new thing is like you can get a beautiful face without spending a lot of money. Um I use some high end products, but when I say high end, high end for me, like but it's really like men products, like stuff like Mary Kay, Unique. I'm trying to think of some others. Unique in particular, I don't use any Mary Kay, um, but Unique I do use. Um, that's pretty much the only one that's more expensive. Oh, Limelight. Yeah, I was thinking about all those at home <clears throat> ones that you people sell. So, so yeah. That was that that I put on. Had to get a little color on my lips so we can make this video. Sundays are my favorite day. Because Sundays I usually go shopping. I did not go grocery shopping today. But Sundays, new sales. Um, and I always check out the local drugstores. I actually drove to another town today, like 15 minutes away, to go to Rite Aid. Um, because I knew that Rite Aid had a sale on wet and wild products um it was a bogo buy one get one 50 percent off and this particular rite aid has a lot more than the cvs that i have in my town so i knew that i'd be able to get some things um that i didn't want to order online i did do a wet and wild um order online and got some stuff that was like exclusive online um which when it comes of course I'll be showing you guys I'm not gonna get into that right now but on the same talk about that Sache Vida I wanted to find a dupe for it because this is like 10 something um which I don't mind paying because it is so good but like um, I have a membership for Sally's and I just haven't been down there and this like is getting real low and it's starting to get like it gets like gloopy like I don't even know how to describe it it's like it picks up 
the color off of your nails and then it gets starts getting like really gloopy and when it does that you almost have to have like see it's got like strings um like spider web kind of stuff you almost have to have like another new fresh bottle that you um pour this into like i mean you can even see how the texture has changed on it it's just really weird so i got this i did some reviews online as to what a dupe was for that a lot of people were saying this out the door um by i and m it was half the price of it. It was like five something. I actually got it for four something because I had like a 10% off coupon. And it says America's number one super fast drying top coat for nails. So it says it dries in seconds. I'm super excited um, to see how it works. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it on this thumb here real quick. See how fast it dries. It looks super shiny like the other one and of course it's not really thick or anything it's pretty a pretty a thin formula um, it seems to be actually thinner than that um, which could be good and it could be bad it could be good in the sense that it's not going to end up gloopy like that to where you can't use what's left in the container or it could be bad in the sense that it's so thin it's not going to hold up um, and really keep your manicure um, longer because if you don't have a good top coat I mean it's nothing for you to have to do your manicure every like two to three days and that like I like a, a good manicure to last like a solid five days like I'm not even going to ask for a week a full seven days just give me five days and I'll be happy so yeah not going to really be able to tell much with this now because um already had the such a Vita top coat over it um and I'm not real sure about this nail polish I don't think it was the nail polish though honestly I think it was that the such a Vita was so like gloopy and thick that it, it it didn't do great up around the edges it just made it look weird like I don't even know but I just rolled with it So, I hope this um, nail polish actually, I hope it's a good top coat. Because that'll, um, I'm always, I'm just starting to get more into um, finding less expensive dupes for stuff. Because the less expensive something is, the more fun you get to have with makeup. Like, if you find foundation that's like $5 and then you get it for 3 with a coupon, well, guess what? You can get a lipstick, you can get an eyeshadow, you can afford to get those things. So, makeup shouldn't have to be so expensive. So, it did dry. Like, it is already dry. Um, it is super shiny. Really shiny. Look at that. Like, it's definitely freshened up from that. Let's see here. I'm going to do that. Yeah, see how dull that one is and that definitely shined it up. So look, we'll see how it does. I'll probably do um, a manicure later on in the week. I actually got um, some fake pointed nails um, coming in sometime. So I might actually just wait to get those and then put those on. I can't wait for those. Definitely do a video on those. Anywho, I got a full face, um, not a full face, like I don't have a blush because I already had a blush. Um, I didn't get no eyeshadows because I already had eyeshadows from Wet n Wild. And I didn't get any lipstick. I don't have lipstick from Wet n Wild, but I do have one on the way. So, um... Some of the stuff I like I had to order online, so and then some of the stuff I wanted to actually get in person. Um, and I was really only going to get the foundation, the concealer, the um, powder, and either the primer or the finishing spray because it was like a buy one get one half off. Well, I ended up getting um, seven things, so whatever spur of the moment all right so that was the polish we talked about 
So I picked that up. Um, let's start with the foundation. I had to get this in the store because um, I just wasn't sure what color I was going to be. And I was not buying two colors. I'm not balling like that. Um, I was leaning between the nude ivory and the soft ivory. I was actually leaning more towards the soft ivory and I'm glad that I didn't order it online because actually the nude ivory was what um, worked. And that is the Wet n Wild. Let's see if I can adjust some lighting here. Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Nude Ivory. It is a neutral. <clears throat> I'm currently letting my um, ring light from my phone charge because it does help. I just forgot to. So it comes with this little spatula thing and from what I've seen on other videos, you do have to set this really fast. Um, so I'll probably only do... Um, sections of my face at a time just to make sure it doesn't dry out on me so there's what it looks like on my skin really good matchup um blends in like seamlessly like i could not believe like when i blend i blended a little bit in at the store because i did not want to get the wrong thing and then have to go back it does have a paint smell, um, but that happens with a lot of drugstore stuff. Wet n Wild is vegan and cruelty free, so I do like that. I mean, just look at that. I mean, it's like seamless into my hand. Like, it's crazy. Crazy matches me. Um, the <clears throat> next thing is the, um, the Photo Focus Concealer. Wow, it says it's tested under seven light conditions. No flashback. So I guess they really, um, they're really selling this as like a professional um, line to where you can um, really um, not worry about what it's going to look like under lights. See, look. There's the little cruelty-free symbol. How cute is that little bunny ears? <sighs> so this color is light. The lightest one they had. Light ivory. Which I still didn't feel like was light enough for me, but... Um... Don't have to do. It's definitely thicker than... The foundation I can tell already it's definitely thicker and creamier um, yeah it seems to be a little bit more yellowy I want to say so even if this is not going to be like lighter uh, from under eyes my setting powder will be and this will at least give me extra coverage under my eyes which is what it needs um, Smell doesn't really have a smell. Um, so yeah. Oh, and there's the little um vegan. Oh yeah, right here it says uh tested under seven light conditions with top smartphone models with and without flash. So I guess they really um they're really pushing this for um, those people who do like logs and stuff like that, um, which is awesome. Yeah, so there's the little vegan thing. I can't believe such an inexpensive plan is vegan friendly. Like that just blows my mind. Next up, we have the Wet n Wild Press Powder and Photo Focus. I was leery about getting this because. Um, like, some people had liked it and some people didn't. So, 
it's just kind of like one of those things like it may be good, it may not. We'll see. I kind of went more with the review about a girl who had a complexion similar to mine. She had dry skin um, and she was fair like I was. Um, definitely yellowish. I can almost use this to set my under eyes. There it is swatched on my hand. Good match. Um, so it blends out pretty nice. Um, I'm a little concerned about it being too light. I'll probably use caution when I use it all over my face. But I do like, it's very velvety feeling. And it does have like a sheen to it. Like it's hard to tell. But it's definitely sheen like. And this is in the color uh, Warm Light. And I believe that was the color I was going to get online. So, I was pretty good about the colors on mine, except for that foundation. The foundations can be tricky. So, next up, let's talk primer. I guess I should have started with that, huh? Um, actually left the store, didn't get this, contemplated it, went back, got it, um, before I left town, because... I really wanted to give this whole line a chance and I'm to the point where like before I didn't really care about primers but I know how important they are now so I really felt like it was important um, to use the primer that was designed for this foundation um, in order to give it a fair chance. And when I opened one up to look at it, it was actually um, somewhat open. Somebody had squirted it out a little bit. And I seen that it was a lotion consistency. And the primers that I have are not like that now. So that was another reason, like, why I really wanted to go back and get it. Because I didn't have a primer like that. And I wasn't sure how it was going to go with like a silicone based primer because this clearly isn't silicone based like I would say not maybe it has it in there but it's more like it feels like um I'm just looking to see if it's got any in there yeah I don't see where it has any um silicone in there so that's what that looks like um just photo f focus face primer um yeah I see it's like a a lotion consistency. Well, I pretty much already rubbed it in. But yeah, it looks like a lotion. Rubs in really nice, really moisturizing. Um, it's drying with a very smooth finish. Definitely not like a finish of a silicone-based primer. Um, more like a matte moisturizer finish. Um, I like it actually. It feels really good. So I'm glad that I picked that up. Yes. I actually do not have a setting spray. Any kind. The only thing that I use for a setting spray is my Mario Badesco Rose Water. Um, that's what I use for a setting spray. Um, so I'm starting to get into the setting spray. So I went ahead and picked up the setting spray for this uh, line. Um, it's the Photo Finish, uh, Photo Focus Natural Finish. <clears throat> this is all day wear. I'm not sure what these little numbers are. Like around the bottle, like you see how it says like one, two, like it's a dial. But um, it's called 301A Seal the Deal. There wasn't any different ones. There was two different ones there, but the packaging had just changed. Um, so yeah, let me open this up. 
Okay, so those numbers are on the actual lid. I think it's it's just a look though. Like it's just the way it looks, like a dial. It's just like a gimmick thing. Uh, let's see if there's any instructions. No instructions, so let's Smells like hairspray. Got a little in my mouth and it's tingly, so be careful about that. Yeah, definitely smells like hairspray. Um, I don't know. It's cool. Smells like hairspray. That's about all. That's about all I can say about it. We'll see. <clears throat> Don't get it in your mouth. Didn't need this. Got it because um, I'm a spoiled brat. It's the Mega Go Contouring Palette Contour. Um, Dote de Leche. You know me. I like anything Spanish. So, I'm not real crazy over the contours that I have now. I don't have a lot of contours. Let's let's, let's not get, you know, I'll, let me show you the ones that I have, okay? I definitely want to keep this video short, so this is, got one more thing to show you after this, but I want to show you my contours real quick. Okay, so I have this model company, which came in my Ipsy bag. I do like it. Um, I've used more of the highlighter, that light one, than anything else. But as you can see, I do have like a bronzy, um, metallic light contour there. So I have that one. It came in the Ipsy bag, so you can't really count that I bought it. I have the Butter Bronzer and Light from Physicians Formula. This is new. I love the way it smells. But it's not great for a contour. It's kind of light and orangey. It's better, I think, more for all over. Um, just not brown enough. And then I have the Unique Sculpting Trio Trio Contour Kit. Um, tells you where to put it. It's got the contour, the highlight, and the setting powder. So... The only one that I use out of here is the setting powder in the middle. Love it. It's like banana powder. I use it to set my eyes and it does. It's freaking amazing to set my under eyes. This is like cream based. This highlighter. And it's real. I mean, it's pretty. Don't get me wrong. Can you see it on there? Not really watch it here real quick it's like a really light gold and it is pretty and then this is the contour and it's cream as well and that's what that looks like pretty much like a mud poop brown this is the light one um which is what I needed I just haven't been crazy over the aspects of the, besides the setting powder. I don't know. I'm not mad that I got this. I love this middle one. Like, I will replace this when the middle one's gone just for it. <laughs> Hopefully by then they'll be selling them separate. But anywho, so I don't have a lot of bronzers. Um... That I like. Oh, and I'm sorry. I missed one. I had forgot about it because I had been using... Well, where are you at? I forget where I put it. Huh. Isn't that something? <clears throat> I just arranged like some stuff in my makeup drawers over here. Here we go. Here it is. Uh, it is stuck in there. The Beach Pop Bronzer by Unique. This is actually my favorite for contour. I put it away so I wouldn't keep using it. I'm about to hit pan in it, like honestly, on one side. 
um because i've used this on my lips my eyes my cheeks for a blush so, like i have used it all over i love this but i wanted to start trying more so that's why i put it away so i wouldn't always like go to it <clears throat> this by far is my favorite contour <clears throat> so again it's not really that brown um it's more like orangey like i don't know so this is why i got the mega glow i've heard really good stuff about it um so I'm super excited to try it. Like, I hope it is my new favorite. Because it's like five bucks. <clears throat> Alright, let's watch this. Watch it be like the same. No, it's not. Just look at the difference. That is like the one from Unique, and that is the Wet n' Wild. This is, I, I'm drawn to this more, most definitely. Even though it is orangey, um, I definitely, it, it, you can see the brown too. Like, this is just, I don't know. This one, it's super silky and smooth, and a lot of product comes out when she rub it across FYI I mean it a lot to so be gentle um, <clears throat> there's that highlight right there up on my thumb um, I don't see me using that for a highlighter I'm curious to see what that'll do to set my under eyes that could be my new under eye setter you never know so yeah, it gives you instructions on the back how to do your face too. I actually like this packaging. I think it's really cool. I don't know why, I just do. <clears throat> Last but not least, which is something that I did not order online because I was going to get one of their other highlighters. But then when I seen this in the store, I'm like, mm, mm, okay, getting this instead of the other one. It is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Bar Mega Glow, sorry, Mega Glow Highlighting Bar in Midnight and Moon. It's limited edition and it is from their um, mermaid line. See the little mermaid there? Yes. I'm going to swatch this for you. Um. And I was going to do makeup tonight, like some type of makeup tutorial, but I don't know that I am because I have so much other stuff to do. Like, paying bills and I have like so much stuff I need to take pictures of and sell online because I just cleaned out like a spare bedroom and like I've got to get rid of some excess stuff. Like I really do. Alright, so I think I got this open opens up like that there's actually not a cheap brush with it and I'm glad that there's not because I never use them look it's a mermaid tail and it's so pretty look at how pretty that is um oh my gosh <sighs> oh my goodness I'm gonna do that right on my wrist I'm like two You can't see it. I'm too pale. It's like sticky right there. <laughs> like a big glob of it. Oh my goodness. There you can see it. pretty like it but my face has just got so much product on right now it it just kind of like clumped up right there <clears throat> so we are under 30 minutes just right under 30 minutes um that's all i had to show you i will have another wet and wild order coming in from one line i'm not going to do um i'm i don't know 
we'll see. I might wait to get it before I play around with any of it, or I might just do like a base face, um, just to see how I'm going to like the foundation and stuff, just so I'm not overwhelmed with so much new stuff, trying to do it all in one video. So I might break it up in like two and three videos, but anyways, I'm going to go get busy, um, Busy, busy, busy. I hope anyways, because I'm definitely not near sleep. Um, so, I hope everyone has a good night. But before you go, I want to show you the super cool lights that I got. How do I switch you around? Okay, so I'm just going to flip you. The little lights from like off the Christmas Story movie, um, the Christmas Story, the leg lamp, like, oh my god, I found those at a flea market, and I had to get them, and I hung them up in here, I have a night light just like it, like, if the big actual lamp wasn't so expensive, because I've seen them for sale, I would have bought that, but I have the night light, and now I have the string of lights, I mean, they just look so cute in here, in my little makeup section, and here's, here's like what my makeup area looks like. It's kind of messy. I use my basic stuff here. I leave that out in the open. Then I have these little drawers here separating stuff. I don't really use that much up there. I used to use that before, before I had the drawers. And then, of course, here's my new Miro that my sissy got me. Love it. All right. So I hope everyone has a good night. Get ready for Monday because they're always a you know what. Bye. Thanks for watching.